Welcome to a session uh, one on identity, culture, uh, tradition of uh, 17 Levenage conference. Uh, I would like uh, to thank the organizing committee uh, of conference and also to everyone uh, who contribute uh, to the conference and all of uh, participants of uh, conference of the conference. Uh, I think at uh, this conference, which was held uh, for uh, the seventh uh, time uh, this year, uh, has been going on very successful uh, and uh, productive. Uh, very important uh, issues uh, uh, for the architecture, uh, cities and uh, urban uh, environments um, have been uh, discussing. Uh, at this uh, session, um, there are uh, five uh, important presentations. Uh, these are uh, the first paper uh, is by Shafak Shahin and Ilkay Özdemir. Uh, we'll be talking about other architectures in the forced migration and resettlement process, space culture interaction in the case of Ordu Kabakta. The second paper is on uh, becoming at becoming self at home, becoming the other in the city. The case of Gazi Osman Pasha, Istanbul, by Zeynep, uh, sorry, by Sıddı Zeynep Yilmaz uh, Kılıç uh, and Hülya Turgut. Uh, the third paper is on um, evaluation of ancient Roman and traditional Turkish houses in the Anatolia over the courtyard formation by Murat Tutkun and uh, Zeynep Saraj. Uh, the fourth uh, paper is on <clears throat> heterotopic spaces of Syrian uh, refi refugees uh, in Istanbul, the case of uh, a city block in Fatih by Merve Gülaryus, uh, Chohadar and Neslihan Dostoğlu. And the final presentation is by Nil Nadire uh, Gelişkan and uh, Şeniz Çıkış. The title of their uh, paper is City of Others, İzmir in 19th uh, century. Uh, the, uh, the duration of um, this session uh, is one hour. Uh, uh, it will uh, run from um, 11 uh, a.m. until 12, and each speaker will um, will have uh, seven minutes uh, for their presentation. Um, after all the presentations, we have we can have uh, some um, time for questions and answers. Yes, uh, we can start. Um, with uh, the first paper, um, uh, but um, uh, dear Shafak Shahin, uh, uh, I think is not he is not here. Um, we can um, going on with uh, the second uh, paper. Um, paper, sorry. Uh, the second paper um, present uh, will be will present by Sıddı uh, Zeynep Yılmaz uh, Kılıç. Uh, dear uh, Kılıç, uh, you can uh, start your presentation, uh, please. Hello, I will share now and or you can share. You can share. I couldn't hear. Can you reply? Okay. okay. Hello, my name is Zeynep. I would like to talk about our paper entitled as Becoming Self at Home and Becoming the Other in the City. As you can see by the title, we established the relationship between self and other through the home and city. The relationship between home and self is established through the process of creating identity. And the relationship between the other and city is established through the process of othering. 
identity creation process defines who we are. It also defines who we are not. This identity creation is supported by individual, social, and collective identity. And all these identity types are reflected in spatial identity. Home is a place that reflects self and identity. As we know from the literature, identity transforms a house into a home. Home is spatial equivalent of identity. Home is a reflection of characteristic, feeling, thought, and behavior. For this reason, as seen in this photograph, our homes carry traces of us and our identity. The relationship between city and the other reminds us of heterotopia. Urban heterotopia is defined as different place or other place. Senaton defines city as a place where other others come together. According to Senate, a city is formed by the coming together of difference. Similar people cannot establish a city, but the city mentioned here are usually metropole because the people are somehow under the control in under the control in small or singular place, so it is not possible to be otherized. Metropoles are place where the process of othering can take place. When we come to the conceptual framework, we examine the duality of identity other from city with a dialectic approach. Identity and other are opposite concepts. They are in interaction and, and creating unity. It will simply represent the city as the other. Identity and other interaction leads to home and city interaction. This creates social and spatial dialectics. The social dialectics are the self, other, individuality, community, local, global. Spatial dialectics corresponding to the social dialectics are public, private, order, cause, home, journey. The conceptual framework is applied to the Gazi Osman Pasha. Gazi Osman Pasha was chosen because it is a heterotopia and Istanbul is a metropolis. It is one of the scatter settlements in Istanbul. Also, when the story of Gazi Osman Pasha is examined, it was established with the migration from the many different culture and ethnic origin. For this reason, Gazi Osman Pasha is authorized in Istanbul. The authorized Gazi Osman Pasha also includes spatial and social dialectic. In order to examine both this dialectic structure and the identity other relationship between home and city, 20 homes were selected in Kazım Karabeki neighborhood. Because in Gaza Osman Pasha, people of similar ethnic origin or who migrate from the same religion live in the same neighborhood. Those who migrate from the Eastern Anatolia live in Kazım Karabeki neighborhood. The household of the 20 selected homes migrate from the Malatya Uzuntaş village. In other words, they come, they come from the same ethnic background and therefore they have similar identity. Coming to the methodology of the research, qualitative and quantitative research methods are used together. The purpose of content analysis is to analyze the address of Gazi Osman Pasha. For this, an internet platform is chosen where everyone can comment and share their experience. It is a exclusive. Also, the plan of 20 homes were examined for the physical environment analysis. Thus, special identity is analyzed and the special dialectics are explored. Finally, in that interview with the 20 household, observation and questionnaire were conducted. Thus, individual social and collective identity is analyzed and also social dialectics are explored. The commented under the title of Istanbul Gazi Osman Pasha in the Ekşi Sözlük are classified and examined in detail. As a result, it is seen that Gazi Osman Pasha is perceived negatively by the city. Almost 70% of the comments made are negative and these comments are about the otherwise Gazi Osman Pasha. When we come to the analysis of the home and identity relationship, the 20 home examined, the plan of home are similar. In this direction, the two Plan schemas you see have been created, so these people have similar spatial identity and memory. During the plan review of the home, interview and questionnaire are conducted with families. The main topic of these interviews and the survey are these. The conclusion of these interviews are that family have similar socioeconomic level, family structure and lifestyle. They have strict social relationship. Finally, we ask about the belonging. They highlighted that they feel they belong to their homes and neighborhood. Let us come to the dialectical relation. In special dialectic, the private represent the home and the public represent the city. The neighborhood represents the semi-private because relative and same villager living cousin Karabeki, they feel neighborhood as their own. But on the other hand, the neighborhood is a part of city. Public private influence also social dialectics because private refers to the 
home also home refers to the self and individual and home also refers to the local characteristic for this user group cause represent the city therefore it's formed by the coming together of the other it also represents community and globality order express the home Therefore, order expressed self and individuality. In fact, all this special dialectic between home and city derives from home and journey. Journey between home and city also leads to interaction between the public, private, self, other, community, individuality. In this process, transition zone gain importance. To sum up, identity, other, in the face to face because of the self, other, self and other. Home and city turns into two opposed concepts. I mean that the home represents the self, the city represents the other. And therefore, a dialectic structure is formed between the home and city. This is an important finding for research. In this case, in which we investigate this dialectic structure, Gazos Pampashe's address, and, the, and this addressing uh, process spread through the internet and social media. When the special and social dialectics between home and city in Gazosman Pasha are examined, it is explored that there is physical and social disconnection. The main reason for both Gazosman Pasha address and this disconnection is lack of transition zone. Transition zone should be created to prevent arising. This transform this this transition zone should be designed for the interaction and hybridization of identity and other. Therefore, the design of transition zone gain importance. Thank you for listening. Uh, I would be happy to take any question. Okay. Uh, thank you. Uh, th uh, thank you uh, very much uh, to dear uh, Kılıç uh, for uh, the presentation. Uh, okay, we can uh, go on uh, with um, uh, the next uh, paper. Uh, the next paper uh, is uh, on uh, evaluation of uh, ancient Roman and traditional Turkish houses in Anatolia over, over the courtyard formation by Murat Tutkun and Zeynep Saraj. Uh, I think uh, this paper uh, will be uh, present uh, by dear uh, Tutkun. Uh, is it okay? Uh, Rat Tutkun is here. <clears throat> uh, no, I will uh, presentation. Uh, oh, sorry, uh, sorry, dear Saraj. Uh, okay, okay, you can start uh, uh, your presentation. Hi everyone. Uh, I will give you a presentation presentation about uh, evaluation of ancient Roman and traditional Turkish houses in Anatolia over the courtyard formation. Uh, in this study, it's aimed to examine the patterns that are effective in the formation of the courtyard space in terms of the ancient Roman housing and uh, the, Tur the traditional Turk Turkish house, and uh, to determine the changes in the courtyard according to cultural and functional and temporal differences uh, by making a comparative analysis on the use of the courtyard in different periods, its formation and space setup. Firstly, I would like to briefly talk about the definition of the courtyard. Uh, it is the space left in the front or middle part of a building in the form of an enclosed open square. And gentle Roman housing. Uh, since the Roman civilization had very wide borders, uh, it is not possible to talk about a single type of housing architecture. Uh, but the upper class and rulers houses, rulers houses, uh, with courtyards, flamboyantly designed with mosaics and frescoes were widely used. That's why I have dealt with this housing in the study. In this house, there are sections such as a uh, bedroom, dining room, uh, restroom, guest reception area, study room, uh, services area around the uh, large and open uh, atrium or courtyard. Uh, there is also a garden uh, behind, the, uh, behind the Roman houses uh, named Hortus. Uh, later, instead, instead of this house, uh, this garden, the use of an ostentatious courtyard uh, called Persitile, surrounded by colonnaded porticos, become widespread. 
And now uh, let's examine the examples. Uh, these structures have a central plan scheme with a peristyle courtyard in the center. And some of them have a second peristyle next to the main peristyle. For example, house no territory and the terrace house. Uh, main courtyard was used as a welcoming place, workplace of the men of the house, and the place where the lady of the house organized the housework, a children's playground, a place of the uh, of worship, and a social uh, social aging area. Uh, the rooms uh, around the rooms are uh, illuminated uh, by daylight coming from the opening above, above the atrium. Uh, we could clearly see the relationship of the courtyard with the other units. Uh, these photos, uh, we see tablinum. In these photos, we see tablinum, triglinum, uh, atrium. Since these units are places where uh, guests are accepted and hosted, and they were uh, decorated much more magnificently during the imperial period, uh, so this was considered a status symbol. Uh, after saying all that, uh, let's examine the Turkish house. Uh, it is a type of house with a special organization that reflects the lifestyle and culture of the traditional Turkish family. Uh, it can meet all the needs of Turkish people with its shape and plan features. Um, it is introvert, uh, introverted dwelling surrounded by high and deep walls. The main reason for it is the, the sense of privacy that the Muslim society attaches importance to. Exa uh, examined samples in, uh, in this section are uh, Siberic houses, Kaiser houses, Erzurum houses. Uh, when we look at the examples, we can say that uh, the traditional Turkish houses developed in the courtyard, despite the central courtyard uh, structure of the ancient Roman houses. Uh, the courtyard serves as a transition space between the ex exterior and interior. Units such as the kitchen, cellar, room, and barn on the ground floor are directly related to the uh, courtyard and uh, are eliminated from the courtyard. Uh, the courtyard serves activities such as uh, doing work, gathering, and resting in line with the needs of the family. Differently, closed courtyards are preferred in Erzurum houses due to cold climatic conditions. Uh, courtyards in Turkish house are uh, Turkish houses are directly directly related to the units around it, just like the courtyard in ancient Roman housing. Uh, if we make a comparison uh, about the courtyards of the different period housing, we can say that um, location of the courtyard in ancient Roman house is inner courtyard or partly forecourt. Uh, it is for court, entrance courtyard, and side courtyard uh, in Turkish house. Uh, the spaces around it are shaped in line with the neat family. And courtyard type uh, is usually open in both house. Geometric form is usually square and rectangular in ancient Roman house. And um, it is usually irregular, irregular geometric form in traditional Turkish house. Um, daily activities are carried on out in it. Uh, just Roman housing courtyard differ from Turkish court, uh, Turkish house courtyard. Uh, in that it is reception hall uh, where the man of the family conduct business meeting and welcoming his customer. Um, Mm, privacy level is low courtyard in ancient Roman housing. It is high, uh, quite high in tur traditional Turkish house. As for the elements in the courtyard, ostentatious luxury decoration were included uh, in the Roman residence. On the other hand, a simpler and more modest courtyard appear, appear in Turkish house. Uh, as a result, courtyards offer comfortable living opportunities with different form and different position at different time and different climates. Uh, the courtyard is shaped according to families, need culture, religious belief, and lifestyle. Uh, 
time. It is a place where the social economic, social culture, and social characteristic of the period are reflected. Although the courtyard was shaped differently within the for, uh, framework of these uh, factors, although it was used at different times, it continued to maintain its feature of being a living space on, and organizing spatial organization where the family gathered, where most of the daily time was spent, housework was uh, organized. That's all I have to say. Uh, thank, for, thank you for listening. Okay. Uh, thank you very much uh, uh, your uh, successful presentation, uh, dear uh, Saraj. Uh, and uh, the third paper is uh, on uh, heterotopic spaces of Syrian uh, refugees in Istanbul, the case of a city block in Fatih by uh, Merve Gülaryus Çohadar and Nislihan Dostoğlu. Uh, dear Çohadar and dear Dostoğlu are here. Uh, I think uh, dear Çohadar uh, will be uh, present. Um, yes, uh, you can you can start. Uh, Welcome to everyone. The title of our paper is Heterotopic Space of Syrian Refugees in Istanbul, the case of a city block in Fatih. I want to talk about the content of our paper. In this presentation, it will be summarized the aim and method of the study, Syrian migration in Istanbul and Fatih district, heterotopia and heterotopic space concept, uh, ethnic neighborhoods as heterotopic spaces, ethnic neighborhoods of Syrian refugees in Fatih, and conclusion will be summarized. This study aims to draw attention to the placemaking space production practices of Syrian refugees who are seen as the others of the city. Uh, this study takes the concept of heterotopia and heterotopic spaces as it is framework. Um, it will be made a review reference to actual spaces, real spaces. Uh, during this research, site observations were made several times in a city block and the evaluations in the paper are based on side observations and the comparative analysis of the photographs dated 2013 and 20. Now about 3,600,000 Syrian refugees live in Turkey. It is a huge number. Uh, migration should not be perceived as just a population movement because immigrants transfer their culture in the cities and the structure of the cities. Many cities in the world have ethnic neighborhood formations such as Kreuzberg in Berlin, Little Italy in New York and Chinatowns in various countries. Nowadays it can be said that ethnic neighborhoods have emerged in Istanbul in a similar way by Syrian refugees. When you look at the map, you can see Syrian refugees prefer to live some districts more in Istanbul. Compared to other districts, Fatih requires deeper analysis because the social spatial changes are more holistic and dramatic in Fatih. Social spatial transformations of Fatih districts, uh, ethnic businesses use the symbols of Syrian culture and the Arabic letters on their signboards and they use uh, in open spaces and streets, signboards, advertisements, decoration of indoor and outdoor spaces. Uh, they use their cultural elements, uh, Arabic letters. Um, so this causes social 
physical and economical changes in the image of the city, these changes in urban spaces can be seen as um, heterotopic. Now, I want to talk about our framework concept. The term heterotopia is used uh, as strange or ambivalent places, other place, different place, the spaces of others. In the literature, literature, literature the concept of heterotopia uh, generally discussed through Foucault's work, uh, but Lefebvre also defines the heter heterotopia concept. Um, in this study, these formations in Fati uh, will be evaluated uh, in the light of Lefer's and Foucault's understanding of the heterotopia term. And there is the field study area of the study. Field study area. Um, you can see the map, uh, it is the city block, uh, which is located in the Hohor region. Um, in the past, this region is uh, famous with it is uh, kebab shops. Why, why you compare the photographs? Uh, it can be seen the all sign words uh, have changed to Arabic letters. And also in this photographs, it can be seen the Arabic letters and the colors, dominant colors of Syrian businesses. The texture of the streets have been changed by Syrians. Uh, there are some, uh, some signboards of Syrian ethnic shops. Ethnic businesses heavily use symbols of Syrian culture and Arabic letters on their signs to enhance the ethnic identity of the region. You can see in this um, dominant colors and cultural symbols and Arabic letters in the streets, open spaces and indoor and outdoor space. In conclusion, it's observed that this case study area has similar features of heterotopic spaces such as deviation creases spaces, alternate spaces, heterochronic spaces, and illusional spaces. When you walking and using these shops in the, in the streets of this city block, you are feeling that you are in a foreign country. This feeling shows us the power of the image of heterotopic spaces in cities. Thank you for listening. Okay, thank you uh, for uh, the presentation uh, to uh, dear Chohadar. Uh, the issue of um, migration uh, is very important uh, for uh, the cities nowadays. Uh, space of the cities um, in the context uh, of physical, social, and uh, economic. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, the next paper um, uh, is um, the, uh, by Nil Nadire Gelişkan and Şeniz Kılıç. Uh, the title of their paper is City of Others, Izmir in 19th century. Um, dear Gelişkan, uh, I think dear Gelişkan will uh, will present will present. Uh, okay, uh, you can start, please. Yeah. 
Dear participants, I'm going to present the paper which is called as City of Others, Izmir in 19th century. Let me start with content. As you can see, I will introduce and explain methodology, talk about Empire and Izmir in 19th century. And after uh, explaining morphological approach, I'm trying to draw Izmir as other city and conclude my presentation. Izmir is a cosmopolitan city in every phase of its historic timeline and one of the significant port of the Eastern Mediterranean region. Together with the Muslim, Greek, Armenian and Jewish subjects of the empire, the colonial communities of French, Dutch and British merchants gradually changed the sociocultural and economic makeup of the city during the 19th century. Izmir has a hybrid structure aspect of both architecture and urban fabric, which fed from both West and the traditional. This hybridism is shaped by the city's precisions over the centuries. In this study, it's aimed to evaluate and concentrate on Izmir in 19th century with its hybrid structure that makes all others together under the commercial. This trade culture somehow makes cultural equality in this hybrid city, although ethnical diversity can be observed within separated neighborhoods. The methodology of the study is urban morphology, which is the examination of the conditions of association of formal and structural elements that define the physical texture of cities in order to understand this hybridism. Additionally, examining process and actors that cause formation, change, and metamorphosis in urban fabric. Accordingly, urban settlement is in constant change due to the change in society or societies that are living in. These observable changes are as follows. Plan of citrine and roads, dimension and form of parcel and flows, land use of building, design and style of buildings. When we come to Ottoman Empire in 19th century, Accordingly, Kasaba describes Western Anatolia as one of the first Ottoman area that was integrated into global networks. One of the reasons of easy integration could be having appropriate site where transformation of distribution took place. Although many of the foreigners had capitulation which offered from them ease in trade with the beginning of 16th century with Kanuni, the majority of the events that led to exploration of Western Anatolia occurred during the 8th 19th century. In chronological order, the Treaty of the Baltalimana, Imperial Edict of Gülhane, to, uh, Soil Law and Mining Regulation, Decrees Granting Foreigners to the Right to Own Land, and Municipality Regulations all contributed to the change in Izmir and its hinterland. As a, due to this unique geographic position, especially after the Anglo-Ottoman Commercial Treaty signed in 1838, the cultural and built environment of Izmir changed rapidly, since the city became an open port for free trade and eventually transformed into a regional node in global networks of exchange. As you can see from the map, there are many different owners like any other Mediterranean city. When we come uh, close, uh, looking closer to the legends, they rise from Wakaf or Mulk, which are belongs to state, and to any individual from European merchants. Mostly European initiatives are willing to regulate and reorganize distribution system of trade, additionally infrastructure, agriculture, mining and industry. It's quite possible to determine that in increasing trading volume and its demographic results shape city's morphology with an additional linear zone within traditional pattern of the city. In order to improve trade roles for quick delivery and profit, Europeans were willing to construct and to get operating right of railways and renovate ports in Ottoman Empire. As we can see on uh, the Lamexat map, uh, the both uh, renovated uh, port and the railways were seen. In Izmir case, port of the city has been at the heart of the city from past till today. Solid void relation on urban texture by aspect of lot, uh, lot and road relation is quite discriminable that organic texture of old Izmir, which means this part of the Izmir, and redesigned areas which are these and this part, while getting used to New World as a semi-peripheral industrial city. Inner Old City also has renovated areas such as New Armenian District, we, the old uh, bazaar is Kemerat and the New Armenian District. After, uh, additionally, the old commercial heart, Kemerat and the new competitive one, Frank Jadesi, which is thought this one is the Frank Jadesi. Uh, all and around harbor are differentiated by their texture. Although cosmopolitan population continued its south new commerce came with their new urban pattern and city adapted itself to this. Increased flow and capital gives speed to many modernization attempts 
building cries and regulating ports were one of the motivation of both state and traders. As we can see from the map, parcels were quite linear and narrow, especially before infilling cost. New ones were relatively counterbalanced, multi-rectangular shapes, win what rectangle. Beginning from 18th century, there are many actors of change in urban space as follows European entrepreneurs, Ottoman merchants, multinational contractors, Ottoman rulers, and Ottoman landowners. It's obvious that there was gifted relation, gift gifted relation of commerce depends on ethnicity. After many devastating fires in town, insurance activities increased in the same century. High insurance map of Izmir is prepared by Charles Edward Guad and published in June 1905. On that large scale map, it's legible to see names in French, building footprints, dimensions and materials, selected owner names and etc. This map is mostly concentrated on commercial zone of the city and it's possible to follow many different properties belong to others. Although it can be traced in all 12 places of the insurance map, one of them has chosen as a sample to see togetherness. In this place, there are many house buildings and depots, which are belongs to all components of the city from Muslim to British, Greek and also Armenian, just next to each other. Furthermore, Frank Street was an important part of the city starting from the 18th century to alongside of history of Izmir. The city was settled parallel to Izmir Harbor, especially foreign traders developed villas with rows of gardens which were specific to Western Europe. According to description of Goffman, in addition to villas, this boulevard consisted of two-story shops that second story was living in it, and dozens of taverns and cafes, church, which were belonged to different sects, promenades, and trade. Along the roads were adjacent the marketplace and some of the most beautiful houses of Izmir and houses of the consular offices were taking place. Franjaki Siret defines that there were countless doors on the front facades of these houses. Moreover, terraces which were on the rear facades open to the roofs of depots and the gulf used as pedestrian roads. These houses were at neighborhoods of countryside of the city looking through Izmir Harbor. The backyard of houses reached to sea and using dockyard while loading and unloading of ships in evenings. Sivel Zandisayek underlined that travelers mostly talk about that streets and describes 19th century Frank Street from different perspectives. This street was a symbol of the current belief, language, and nationality of Izmir. Greek, French, and Italian could be heard every hour of the day. Commercially, the products on this street came not only from the hinterland of Izmir, but from all over the world. People of every class and faith were intertwined through every day. In terms of dynamics and structural intervention that shaped the city, breaking points and continuities, Izmir, one of the first modernizing and pioneering cosmopolitan cities of the Ottoman Empire, has been transformed by central government interventions together with the trade agreements and Western initiatives after becoming an international port. In this context, the transformation of built environment experienced in Izmir due to the construction of ports, infrastructure, railways, auxiliary facilities such as warehouses, lodgings, repair shops, direct loading and unloading facilities, station, factories, urban tram lines can be observed especially in the urban fabric. It should be added that the intervention in the settlements was not limited to the listed ones. Hospitals, schools, clubs became a part of the political and social organization process of the regions for Eurocentric capitalism. In this regard, while Izmir has become a worldwide transportation center for raw materials and natural resources, there have been change in the built environment and morphology of its hinterland, just like its own, with the careful selection of railway routes between the center and the territorial enclaves. As a consequence, it's important to underline that the development of the hybrid built environment in Izmir is crucial for the holistic understanding of urban history of this cosmopolitan city. Thanks for your patience and listening to this presentation. Thank you. Thank you uh, very much uh, for uh, the presentation. And uh, <clears throat> our uh, final presentation for this session is uh, by Shafak Shahin and Ilkay Özdemir will be uh, talking about other architecture in the forced migration and resettlement process, space culture interaction in the case of Ordu, Kabakta. Dear Shahin and dear Özdemir are here. Uh, 
Uh, I think dear Shahin will be uh, present uh, their uh, presentation. Yes. <laughs> Welcome. Other architecture in the first migration and resettlement process, space culture interaction in the case of the Kabakta. Why migration is sometimes voluntary, sometimes it refers to a process that occurs to due to forced reasons. When the forced migration met and as exchanges are examined in terms of the their effect and result, they have fundamental changes to the life of the hundreds of thousands of people. Uh, Muslim Georgians used the pure virus uh, uh, as an international definition among themselves. The ancient uh, Georgians who migrated to Fatsa from the uh, Kublai regions of the Batumi today maintain their folklore characteristic traditions, customs, kinship relations, neighborhoods, wedding and terminal customs and architectural identity. For example, uh, 22 uh, Gedi plays are the still theater plays. Uh, space with is the subject of the many researchers in the field of the architecture it contains ways of meaning to add the deep information upon the cultures, lifestyles, and changes the cult uh, social cultures of societies. Uh, migration is very effective in shaping the culture and as a result, change of the physics are living in a table. The first houses they would their own building production techniques is tomasery and building culture and can be easily observed over time the, the changes due to uh, to use of the building the change of the hands and the generating the change in the travel of projects at the broad changes the resonance uh, the method used in the study the study was limited to kabakta village and it is what tried to investigate how to use of the space was created within the continent of the culture within the interaction of the migrate space culture observation uh, photography literature review that three techniques were the used and the field study part of the study was completely by taking surveys throughout the house of the can be entered uh, Although the physical condition as effective in character ruler architecture in the effect of the sociocultural factors had the provided formation of the local texture and architecture Kabakta village settlements has been spaced in the core plan with the effect of the geographical location, climate, topography, economic decoration, structure and sociocultural factors. The village has the character of playing of mountain village. The buildings are generally two stories and the ground floor and the upper floor had to uh, separate entrance. Enter of the ground and generally is the direction. Uh, the correction between the internal stairs and the floor of the provided by stairs. Plaintiffs of, of the with the survey taken. It's traditional village also house, which from the council of single place is the place where the goods and the host where the food is the preferred sittings, lying and fighting action the forefront. The fact that the buildings have two semi entrance and can sometimes close between floors makes it possible to separate the haram and salam. The sofa, which is again in the place in the front of the window in the rooms and the sofa is used to sitting and sleeping. And the addition to this, the Gitani brought the Frisian they are used for the stretch and storage and edges lying. It's in this cabinet, stable wall stretch and made on the side of the stoves and the sides of the kitchen rows, the, the cabinets at the storage of food, etc. While some of them they have uh, areas of four bedrooms. External door a single wing and external door, uh, internal door and double wing. The person is the name of giving the stones in the courtyard of the house of which of the house of working to a vineyard, yard, garden of the field from the day of evaluation without the community contact with the wet soil or grass, the hammer, plexi, geography. The decoration work on the stones in the kitchen in the old house are called the Uh, 
Convergence, the place of the migration in Kabakta are similar region and the terrain of climate and geography the lo and local materials and were used in the uh, contribution of Pinduk. However, over time, materials such as the tiles at the sheet metal have, have been used to roof covering and the local materials have to, uh, been avoided. The prior of stone place in the garden shows the beliefs of the strong. It runs of the ruler, it runs the mate of the east direction. The space uh, as the ground floor, the upper floor in Georgian architectural living space. In the village, in the ground floor barn, in the architecture with wooden system and uh, stones will fill in field was attraction and attraction. Like and the rural heritage, abandonment, evacuation, village, the spirit of resonance, interpreting cultural continuity. The intangible and intangible heritage in the Kavukta village should be restored and alternative should be source of revitalization. Macro scale splendid should be done uh, in rural areas and according to production should be provided by uh, production in the small scale for the independent of the independent station of the regions with the space identity. It is urgently necessary to create version of the world link in the prepared restoration project. By increasing the number of space states is ready to the migration, it will be able to offer more positive and additive solution in identity problems caused by, by migration. Thank you. Okay, uh, thank you uh, to dear uh, Shahin uh, for, uh, for your presentation. Uh, uh, our time uh, will end uh, at uh, 12 o'clock, uh, so we uh, have uh, about uh, 10 minutes. Uh, <clears throat> uh, I, uh, I thank, I will thank uh, to all presenters um, for their uh, illuminating and successful presentation. Uh, uh, but um, if uh, anybody uh, has questions uh, for uh, the speaker uh, about their uh, presentation, uh, they uh, can do. Is there any question? I would like uh, again, uh, thanks. Uh, see you next uh, Live and Arch conference. It was pleasure. Uh, be with you. Take care yourself. <laughs>